Mike, you're seeing doubles. It's two different machines. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 44 of the So Not Scary series. Um, and here in front of you, me, you can see that I've got a box containing a mini sewing machine. But it's not the same sewing machine that I always use in my episodes. This is a brand new mini sewing machine. And I've bought it because so many of you we're experiencing problems, um, technical kind of problems like the lower thread not coming up or the thread bunching up or the pull up lever not functioning properly. So I really wanted to kind of help you guys out and I was thinking about what would be the best way to do that. And I thought, hey, why don't we just open up a sewing machine? Um, I did not want to do that on my regular KPCB Tech Mini sewing machine, so I actually ordered another one. This is a brand new machine right in front of you. Um, I bought it off of eBay for just under £12. And the idea is that eventually, in front of you, I'm going to dissect this machine, okay? And we're going to figure out um, how it works and what problems um, do we face when we use it so that we can kind of get to the bottom of those problems and fix it. So I'm thinking maybe we should do it in a two-part uh, series. In part one, just out of curiosity's sake, I'm going to do an unboxing. Hi, Miss Sophie. Hi, Yes, of course you can. So here we are, and so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So this is the box. It says mini sewing machine, double threads, two speed control. Um, this is what it says. It says it comes pre-threaded. Um, it says it comes with an adapter and batteries uh, compartment, which we all know already. Uh, and oh, okay, on the back it shows you. Uh, what kind of stuff it's equipped with. So it says it's got a lamp, a thread cutter, we know that, a thread spool, spindle thing, a bottom bobbin compartment, two-speed control. So this is slightly, the, the, the buttons are going to be ever so slightly different from my KPCB Tech Mini Sewing Machine, but the principle is the same still. Uh, and it says it comes, it comes with a foot pedal, a needle, threader, bobbins. So let's see if it is in fact all in there. So here we are opening the box. Mm, okay, here we go. There it is. Um, so it's um, it's sandwiched between these two blocks of styrofoam for protection. That's the manual. Um, the manual kind of shows a slightly different model of sewing machine, but I think pretty much they all function in a similar way so we're gonna put that to one side for now and let's try taking this out okay nothing's in there now and this fell out of uh, one side of it it's got four bobbins I was expecting that there is a needle threader in there and in this piece of cardboard, I think there will be a size 80 needle, if I'm not wrong, because that's the standard that's coming with these machines these days, okay? So we'll open that in a minute. Let's first look at the sewing machine itself. So there's the styrofoam sandwich, and on the side you can see there's the adapter and the foot pedal. So foot pedal, pretty much similar to what I already have in my KPCB Tech machine. And that's the adapter. Ah, come on. Yep, it's a three pin plug so we can use it in the UK, made in China. Okay, so anything on this side? Nope. And let's separate this out. Get rid of these guys. Okay, it's just like standard styrofoam packaging. And it's packaged in a plastic bag. I hope you guys can see it, so I'm just gonna get rid of the plastic bag. Okay, plastic is going off. Here we are. Okay, so that's the sewing machine. The only difference that I see between 
uh, what else was available between this one and my KPCB one is that my KPCB tech came with an extension table which you must have seen um, in multiple videos before um, okay so that there is the spindle so if I pull it up there okay that was expected um, they have already put a little fabric some kind of a um, man-made kind of like a polyester stretchy kind and if I turn the hand wheel towards myself needles going up lift this um, get some of this thread out so, oh this is tight this is really tight oh and there's some gunk on the um, on the tension knob so I'll have to clean that gunk now can you see this thread is moving when I pull it there we are we've removed the fabric and on the side you can see um, the scissors where it shows a symbol of a scissors there's a blade there so I can take my thread um, kind of pass it over that blade and it should cut there okay and oh they've got a button for the light well that's interesting isn't it their light button is right here and this is like a generic uh, unbranded mini sewing machine so if you want to switch the light on there's a tiny little light bulb there I hope you guys can see it and to switch it on you actually press this button um, that's a high low switch so H is high speed when you press it it goes at lower speed on off button so when you press it it's on off and then the usual suspects foot pedal and power adapter nozzles mm. you've seen the spindle before this was in an episode where i showed you how to thread your mini sewing machine you can find it here but essentially you see these arrows you kind of press it and turn it this way and the spindle pops out and this is where you put your bobbin on for threading and when you press it and uh, turn it back again it goes back in and that's the foot pedal it's supposed to plug in there okay that is the power cord it's supposed to go in there okay. okay so they've given us two free threaded bobbins i don't know why there are two strands of okay so that's that's just the beginning of the thread so we need to snip this off basically and that's where you unwind it must be the same with this as well yep so you use this bit you snip this off okay and then two empty bobbins which is good uh, that is a needle threader and if you don't know how to use it I can show it to you in a future episode just let me know if you want me to show you how it works and that is a needle oh it's a 90 it's a size 90 so it's thicker than a size 80 well wow, okay um, so obviously they expect us to sew thicker fabrics with it so so that is that so those are the extras and those are the attachments and this is the mini sewing machine that came out of the packaging and soon we will be opening her up to see how she works okay I hope you found this video interesting if you do please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch on for the next video because then we will be opening this mini sewing machine up to check how she works and where she's been giving us problems okay take care guys bye